Okay, so start. We're gonna do something different today. We're actually gonna sit down and talk about a new movie. T T three. Uh, Terminator Dark Fate. I actually watched a couple of reviews, so I had a little bit of uh, of an impression coming in, mm -hmm. and I was told it was terrible. <laughs> I was told terrible all across the board. So when I was going in, I actually felt in my mind Terminator Genesis. I was told that it wasn't the greatest movie, but they're still trying to hype it up and give it all this big um. So I was like, mm, maybe there's going to be another trash movie where we figure out another hero newborn has to be stopped. Here we go. I didn't have a problem with the whole reboot kind of thing that they're doing. I don't, I don't have a problem with bringing this new uh, world into Terminator, and I don't have a problem with uh, recycling everything and making it to where it's only after Terminator 2. And I think it was a good, decent reboot of the series, mm. of just kind of bringing it, uh, making it like an extended universe now. Well, they did the same shit with Halloween. So the movie starts. You see, young Sarah Connor. It was just showing that scene. Oh, the flashback of um, of her saying, "You don't know." The in mental her, hospital, the mental which, hospital yeah. going, "You don't know." It's happened. I got the date. It's happened. You got the date and time. It's August twenty seventh. You even see? I thought that maybe they're gonna pull away, but you even see that this was from Terminator Two. So you even see the uh, the little reflection on the monitor on the side I didn't see you could see the little reflection of what people actually watching it which was from the actual movie Terminator 2 because oh. this was all on the little monitor that she was mm. showing so you saw that I mean it was cool for me I was like ah, ah, I know this I could tell you word for word what she says here because yeah. <laughs> I've seen the movie so many times but I was like ah could you not figure out your own opening to your movie? But then you see that there's little John. You're like, that's that's really Sean Connor. I was like, hold on, way to be. Like, no way, I've seen that guy. Did he they... is huge now. <laughs> he is fat, tubby, he doesn't even have a neck. For a split second, I was like, did they have the story already figured out? decades ago and filmed this one little piece? Right, and then you see Sarah Connor and it's like perfect Sarah Connor. Like, what? What? That's some great makeup. And then you even see Arnold Schwarzenegger come in and you know, that that's what Arnold that's the looks guy. like. And then what happens? You realize? Kills John. Boom. Two shots to the chest. Double tap. The whole thing's in slow motion. Can't yeah. miss a single scene. And then she gets all distraught. They kill John. Well, you also get character building with Sarah Connor as mm -hmm. well because she's explaining how she knows all these things. Which to me, I think she's the best part of the whole movie. One thing I didn't get is why they had to mention so many times to get rid of your cell phone. Was that just... Uh, I, no, I'll give you the, this. The I'll rule give... of if you don't want to be tracked or found there by was a Terminator, joke. There don't was a joke work. that worked really well in the movie. So Sarah Connor throws away the little girl's cell phone. Mm -hmm. But then she's like, but I have my cell phone in a bag of chips. Bag of chips because the aluminum stops them from following us. Just like but then the later... Arnold Schwarzenegger goes, he, she's like, how could you follow me? How do you know where I am? And he goes, because you put your bag, you put your phone in a bag of no. chips. He said, if you're going to keep your phone in a bag of chips, keep them in a bag of chips. I will give him this. The dialogue in the movie was realistic for the person that is saying it. Yes. For their job and profession. Nothing seemed you where you just go, okay. oh. Here's another actor. Nobody says that. <laughs> It's to me, I would recommend this as a fan of the original Terminator and Terminator 2, of course. Terminator 2 is the best of the series. If you like explosions, this is your movie. I mean, I I, I have no problem with this movie. In fact, I wish this was the, this was the sequel that I wish came out four of these movies and never any of the other Terminators. This movie gave me closure like Halloween gave me closure. Yes. I, I think it gave me closure as well. This was this a was a decent see. third installment 
of the series. They want to throw away all the others, so I'm saying that yes. it's just the third installment. It's a decent movie. It's a decent third installment. Uh, I would have to say two thumbs up and a wink. She's not waiting to be hunted by a Terminator. She hunts them. I am going to kill you, you metal mother. Right. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs> Please make sure to like, subscribe, and let us know what y'all think.